Hey everybody, welcome back to Terraining Battles. I apologize for uh, missing uploads the last few days. Uh, the honest truth is that uh, with me, I have, I'm really up and down with my mood or just how I feel about life. I like really move up and down and I just hit one of those spots this past week, which really sucked. So, and I wanted to keep recording for you guys. So I, I tried to record like two episodes, but the first one was all right. The second one though, I just, I could not, like I was not in a good place or good attitude and I didn't really want to show that to you guys so I did delete them. Um, it's not even like losing that's the problem, like I will post lose, me losing but when I, me like not being able to handle losing very well, it's like I don't want that to be seen because that's not a good example and I don't want to like hide that. I mean, there, there was one where like, I was like straight up frustrated and I thought about posting it just to show that that is the side of the game, but at the same time, I want to make sure I have good content and if it's just me complaining and being down on the game, I didn't want to show that. So yeah, I apologize for that and you know, bear with me as that goes, like Pokemon's a heart can be a really mentally straining game for me to play. Um, I do enjoy it, but if I'm not feeling really good at the time, it's hard for me to play it and enjoy it and be positive. Because it's a game, you gotta have a tough, you gotta be mentally tough, you gotta have a good attitude. And when I do that, it's just, I have bad play, not good commentary. Um, yeah, so it's just not, I don't think it's fun to, I don't think anyone wants to watch that. Um, someone just wallowing in their own pity. So, yeah, that's that's my explanation there. Um, you know, because I'm not, I'm not going to be the most consistent battler or the best youtuber or whatever but you know i enjoy you guys watching either way and even just when i do upload those that still watch i really appreciate it so i just want to start off with that and yeah i mean there's a lot of vgc youtubers out there that are way better battlers than me so if you want really really good content do that watch them as well but otherwise i thank you for watching and putting up with me so yeah so let's jump in uh, this team has a lot of flaws, for sure. Uh, also, my play with it hasn't been spectacular when I was playing. So, we'll keep pressing along. Um, I'm going to keep trying to use more unique teams. It's I'm finding it really difficult in this format, but I also just need to get over that. Like, It's going to be hard to win really well with really unique stuff. It's There's a reason why Kyogre and Xerneas are used on, almost, on so many teams. It's just They're just so powerful. So, so we're going to do our best. But So, here's a... An interesting matchup, I don't, and one that looks pretty. Depends what they bring, I guess, because obviously Serena's a pain. Uh, Venusaur is going to be a pain, especially if they have that Grout on. Like Venusaur, like honestly, Grout on Venusaur, Serena, and something else would be really good against me. Uh, how do I want to lead this? I'm leaning towards like Kyogre or Palkia, just going Palkia and Cineroar. I tend to fault towards the same leads. I could try leading Kyogre Serena. Is that what I want to do? No, we'll, we'll go Incineroar for now. Alright, so yeah, this will be weird. Serena's a problem. Toxic Quirk's a problem. I'm tempted to put like some like Tornadus on this team. I just don't know what over. Honestly, I don't know if I like Incineroar on this team. I almost want to get rid of that. There's another Kyogre Palkia team that has like Salazzle and Whimsicott and Lele. That looks really interesting. It doesn't even have Incineroar. Okay, so they do lead that. Um... I would expect them to want to protect the Venusaur, fearing fake out. They could also like, I can see them switching Groudon into Serena to block the fake out, which makes me really want to go for a Flare Blitz into this Groudon. Cause I think you, if they brought Serena, which I don't see why you wouldn't, um, You'd switch it in here. I would think over the Groudon, in the Groudon slot, and then Venusaur goes for a Sleep Powder. Also, Coco would be nice on this team. I 
if they didn't bring Serena, they would, yeah, there's Serena. So hopefully either they missed the Sleep Powder on Incineroar, or they're going after the other thing, and they misses. And also I get my sub and this Flare Blitz off. So this was a really good turn one here. <laughs> That's the thing with Sleep Powder, man. You, it's a hit or miss. Is that gonna take out? Oh, I barely hung on. Oh, it's a Sash Serena. Interesting. Oh, okay. I can f no, I can't feed that. Okay, so... Serena's gonna be in trouble now. Um, the great thing about Serena is now I can take it out with uh, Kyogre. So I'm gonna Spatial Rend Venusaur here. I'm gonna switch out my own Serena. Just to block any potential s Sleep Powder. Because I could see Serena protecting if it has it. But it might just, I'm, or just U-turns if that would make sense too. Yeah, go and just find those Sleep Powders. We'll get the Spatial Rend off, break a potential Sash. Should do probably over 50%. Yeah, right around 50. It just goes for Power Whip, so that should most likely break. Yeah, that should most likely break our sub. Question is, does Venusaur go for a Sleep Powder here? I'm gonna protect in U-turn. So then I can knock out... Dang, well, Preserving Serena is pretty smart. So they bring in Finny. Well, they can't put me to sleep now, so I'll probably Sludge Bomb. I'll probably Sludge Bomb um, Serena here, although I'll protect. No, they're not protecting, so they'll be going for a Sludge Bomb into Serena, if I had to guess. Yeah. Oh, into Palkia. Nice. So we'll get this U-turn off. So I can bring in... I actually think I want to bring in Kyogre and then switch it out so I can try and get rid of this Venusaur. And I'll force the Grout on in. So I'm going to go into Kyogre and I'm just going to switch it right back out into. I think it's. I think I want to go into Incineroar. I'll try and. Although with that, with that terrain, my special rend isn't as powerful now. But they can't Sleep Powder, that's the nice thing. Mm, tempted to go for sub. Actually, no. I might Z move Water Spout as Venusaur. Because that would punish any Grout Groudon coming in still. Because I think this combination would take out. But they actually switch it out. This is Groudon. This actually might go down. This combination, I think, should take Groudon out. And then I just switch out Kyogre and I have rain for the rest of the game. Yeah, that, this Groudon's going down. Nice. <laughs> so that worked out really well. I was trying to take out Venusaur, but instead we just get rid of Groudon and we win the Weather War. Uh, Nature's Madness into Venusaur would suck, or into Kyogre would suck, because then I lose Water Spout damage, but we have Origin Pulse and Scald. Nice. Palkia. This is, this move is, even in the sun, this move will do over half the Groudon. Yeah, I'm so much that Water Spout did. Nice, we get rid of Groudon, so that's huge. I'm surprised they didn't switch Finny out. Actually, Moonblast into Palkia. Yeah. This might knock me out. Actually, it doesn't. And they have Serena. Yeah, it comes Venusaur. So I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna keep my Serena around because I'm gonna use that to beat this Finny. So I'm just gonna protect and switch into Incineroar. Ah, uh, maybe I should switch into Serena. Because Kyra can beat Finny. But Venusaur, I can water spout Venusaur. I don't know if what Venusaur is going to take a water spout. But I'll go for a spatial rend onto it next turn just to at least damage it. 
because I don't think I need to fake out this turn. Yeah, I'll protect here. I'm just worried about the, what this Finny's gonna want to do. Oh, it's actually a Z move. Poisonium, okay. This might be into Palkia, but I'd be okay with that because then I get Kyogre back in. And I can go for Fake Out. Okay, it's into Incineroar, or Incineroar. I am a Salt Vest, so I should take this, yeah. And just Moonblast into the Protect, perfect. Okay, um, I'm gonna go for Fake Out here. They might just protect and knock out. I don't really need Palkia anymore. I actually might U-turn, because if I can just get Kyogre, Serena, and I can Helping Hand, Water Spout, and I think that should be pretty good. So I'm going to go for Spatial Rend, and I'm going to U-turn off Finny. I don't mind if they protect and knock out. They actually switch out, so this will... Yeah, this will take out Serena, which I'm fine with, and I'll U-turn out. Probably losing... Okay, we hit. Good. So we'll probably lose... I should lose Palkia in the process here, but that's perfect. Because then I just go Serena Kyogre. And that should be enough. Into Palkia. Oh, and Incineroar. Not actually what I wanted. But I think I'll still go into, I think I'll still go into Kyogre here. Just to get rid of... Yeah, this way we get rid of the uh, sun for Venusaur. But yeah, I, don't, I, think we're, I think the Misty Terrain is going to be running out pretty soon. Question is, do I lock into Water Spout? I think I can, because Serena should just, beat this, should just beat this Tapu Fini. Uh, it's the last turn of Misty Terrain. So I'll go ahead and Water Spout here. This might just outright take out Venusaur. It doesn't, so this is why I went for Spit. Yeah, Spatial Run, so it covers that. If it hits, and it does, not even the Misty Train, no way it's leaving that, because that would do about 25% in terrain. Sweet, now, and then no matter what goes on here, uh, Serena should just beat this. Tuffy Finny. Yeah, I knocked that out. So I'm locked into Water Spout, but that's okay, because it's full power, and then I'll probably just Helping Hand Spout this turn, rather than, even though Power Whip can just take this thing out. Oh wait, no, Water Spout, I don't even think I need the Helping Hand to knock Finny out. I forgot I still had Incineroar too. <laughs> okay. And... Yeah, I'll just Helping Hand Spout. A single Water Spout should take it out though, given how much- that Water Spout did so much to Finny. That's absurd. Cool, good game, my opponent. That the sleep powder miss was really fortunate. Um, allowing me to get that sub up for a turn. It was pretty sweet, just to block another sleep powder the next turn. Because I could have protected and switched, but this Oh I did flare blitz. Yeah, I could have protected and you turned to protect it or protected and switched. Or protected and flare blitz, but then you could just sleep Powder Palkia that turn again. So, that miss was pretty fortunate. But yeah, that Serena switch in was super obvious. That's what's weird about Serena. It's it does it really creates those mind it really creates those mind games because it's it's hard to call. Like if I if he doesn't switch, most of the time they're switching it in. Uh, but I think we yeah, we definitely called that one really well. Um, we find our next opponent here. It's Lunala Groudon. That's kind of cool. Looks like it's gonna be a Trick Room Lunala, just because of that Lorantis sitting there. And then Finny and Cinero Cartana. So Trick Room is gonna be a pain. I'd probably bring Gengar to this because of that Lunala, and it's that it outspeeds Cartana, which is neat. I decided if I want Serena or Incineroar. I think I probably want Incineroar. It'd probably be, it'd be a little better in Trick Room. Yeah, I don't think I need Serena too much. 
So I think about bringing both. I'll probably bring both Palkia and Gengar because Palkia, although that Finny renders Palkia not as useful. Do I want to bring Serena or Palkia? Palkia could still have some use. It's just with the the Finny and the Cartana there. Um, I also think about Serena. I'm gonna bring Serena. All right, we'll leave Palkia out. We'll bring Gengar. Let's see if I regret this one. I kind of want to make sure I have. Couple answers to Trick Room and two slow Pokemon would help a lot with that. Yeah, it's really Nala because yeah, they really want to go for Trick Room here. Let's see if my Incineroar is faster. Be nice. Then I can fake out their Incineroar and I guess just go for the Z move into Lunala. Yeah, I am faster, so I think I fake out their Incineroar. I think I just I just go for the Z move. I don't want to taunt and risk then it like just moongeisting my Gengar. That suck. Uh, cause he doesn't. He has one. He has a switch into to the attack, but it's already on the field, and that's Incineroar. Otherwise, nothing can switch really a switch into this super wall. So I think I just go for it, and I just fake out. Might be a Kasib Berry. That's right, but in Center Roar. Oh, we should speed tie. Well, that's fine. I can't fake out Gengar, so. So, let's see if this knocks out. It might be a Kasib Berry, because he's really confident that he can get Trick Room up here. And if he does, I at least have like Lorantis and Center Roar in the field still. Because Kasib Berry makes a lot of sense on a Trick Room variant, because he's really need to make sure you can get it up, but it does not have it. Okay, so that stops Trick Room, because he doesn't and he doesn't have any other Trick Room setters. Include, and it looks like our Incineroar Speed Tie, because my Intimidate went first, but their Fake Out went first, so... Unless I didn't press Fake Out, but I'm pretty sure I did. Here comes Groudon. Uh, question is, do I want to... I might pro, I'm leaning towards Protect and U-Turn. So I can take a banded press of his blades. Um, cause I think I want to. I'm trying to think if I want to keep Incineroar healthy or Gengar. I also want a Swords Dance to come out. That would be really annoying. I'm gonna protect U turn. It could be a Z move, knock out Incineroar, and that wouldn't worry me too much. It actually misses. Nice. Knock off into Gengar. It's fine. Get this U-turn off. So now I just go into Kyogre and it's a free Water Spout. Yeah, it's a free Water Spout. So I'll switch into Kyogre. Go for a water spout. Um, I wonder if they have Serena in the back. I'm gonna sludge bomb. Not Serena, Lorantis. I'm gonna sludge bomb. Uh... I would guess Groudon. They might protect Groudon too. But I'm gonna sludge bomb Groudon. I would think Groudon switches out. They can also protect Groudon and switch into Cinderor, but yeah, they switched that out. I'm gonna think Plantis or Finny? Cartana. Oh, yeah, that sucks. But that could be way worse. Because this thing will. I'll probably put this Cartana into. Yeah, I can take this Cartana out with the Shadow Ball. But we see it's a Sash, so it probably has Detect. Uh. 
Do I want to just stay in and water spout? Like, honestly, I think that's what I do. I don't even care about the sun. I just water spout Shadow Ball. Yeah. There's Shadow Ball grout on and I water spout. Because Water Spout takes out like Cortana. And they might just protect Cortana and Precipice Blades or something, but it should still take. Now they just stay in. They should still take quite a bit of damage from this spout. I doubt a shot. I don't know if Shadow Ball is going to take that out. Let's see. Ooh, nope. Hangs on. But he's got the Z move. That's fine. Now one, I, he can he can only take out one of these Pokemon, so either so the other one can just finish off Groudon. So I didn't go for the Z move that earlier, but I mean it makes sense to save it for the Kyogre here. I wonder if I live this. I have HP investment to survive the plus two Moonblasts from a Team of Xerneas, so I wonder if I live this. Haha, <laughs> no way. <laughs> Definitely not. Okay, but Groudon just ends this, and I'll bring in. I don't want to show my last. I'll bring in Incineroar. I want to bring in Serena because I have a feeling they're going to protect the, from the fake out, but. Um, I just want to show my last. Shadow Ball, fake out. Because they might protect, but there's not really anything they can do. Yeah, so good game. That was a little lot better. They just, the mistake, the, the, they're not the mis yeah, the mistake there is my opponent let me get my Kyogre in for free. Oh, with a free turn of Water Spout, and when you're using Groudon, you gotta be careful about that. So it's really important, it's really important to remember, like, U-turn's a thing, so U-turn gets that Kyogre in against Groudon, and it just gives me the ability to just press Water Spout for free, so you have to be really cautious about your positioning when the, the Kyogre Groudon matchup. So, all right, uh, I'm gonna cut it off here, a little short, but I don't wanna push myself too hard. So, all right guys, hope you enjoyed. Uh, again, I'll try and be as consistent as I can. It's like I said, it, this game can be really taxing on me. So yeah, I'll do my best for you guys and give me some, give me some ideas of teams and I will see what I can find or put together. I might just start asking for help in team building those, but stuff not like too crazy, but more interesting than uh you know Kyogre Xerneas or something so but I'll feature some a couple standard things every once in a while just to showcase it but all right guys take it easy have a good day later